Hi, everyone. We've got a question from a fellow boater named Matt. Matt asks, Jeff, uh, I have three battery banks on my boat, a lead acid starter, a lead acid thruster, and an AGM bat house battery. But eventually, I'd like to upgrade to lithium. I'm looking at buying a Balmar 60 uh, 100 amp with an external regulator M6, uh, MC614 or 618. What would be the best setup for charging from the alternator? Happy to install an additional kit. I also have solar installed. I have an AC charger that will also be upgraded in the future to an inverter charger. Well, Matt asks, it's a pretty open question, right? Because currently the setup is lead acid on two batteries, AGM on one, thinking of going lithium later on, doing a 100 amp alternator, external regulator, existing battery charger being changed to an inverter charger. There's a lot of meat here. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cover it all uh, within one tech talk. Um, so if you've got a single engine and you're looking at recharging, let's say, three battery banks, one way of doing that would be a battery isolator, a one to three. But the limitation with that is that the battery isolator does not modify the alternator voltage. So whatever the alternator voltage is coming from the alternator, uh, that is is for one battery type only. So if you have lead acid, lead acid, and AGM, you're going to have to pick. You're going to have to decide which one of the batteries that is connected to that battery isolator is the most important to you. And can the other batteries tolerate either being undercharged or overcharged? Because most likely, the charge profile for different battery chemistries is not going to be the same battery voltage. So the first step is generally to have all batteries be the same chemistry, especially if you're going to use a battery isolator. Alternatively, you could look at what are called DC to DC charging voltages. And that might be a good way, for instance, in this setup, is to have your house battery bank recharge from the alternator, and that could be a lithium battery bank. And then having the lithium battery bank share its charging voltage via DC to DC charging converters. And we have those uh, on our website with lots of talks about those as well. And then have basically a lithium charge the lead acid house and have the lithium charge the lead acid thruster. And to do that by each one of those battery banks, the thruster and the engine battery, having DC to DC charging converters connected to them. Now, the good news with that is that you can actually rate, you can actually configure what charge profile you want. So even though you're coming from lithium, you can modify the charge voltage so that it actually gives your lead acid starter or lead acid thruster battery the right voltages that it wants. So that's definitely one setup. Now, again, same problem with a battery charger. Having a three bank output battery charger in this instance, I would keep it and have it recharge my thruster and engine battery. And then I would install an inverter charger and that inverter charger would be meant to recharge either my current AGM house battery bank or your future lithium house battery bank. And that's how I would do that as well. Your external regulator that is connected to your ball bar alternator should be configured with a lithium charge profile, and it should be directly connected to your house battery. Now, that being said, if ever your BMS on your lithium battery disconnects your battery because of overcharging or whatever the condition is, and you only have one connection from your alternator to your lithium, and suddenly your lithium battery disappears because your BMS decided to protect the battery and disconnect the charging bus or the battery itself, then you're going to lose your alternator. And so that is one of the issues with having a high output alternator connected to a lithium battery bank without having more another battery bank connected in parallel. The reality is all of us, when we bring lithium on our boat, aboard our boats, are making compromises on how we're going to go about charging our battery banks. And many of us are making decisions that have pros and cons. There's no perfect solution. It's really about minimizing the risks that we all individually perceive on our boats. And so with the setup that I gave you there, um, you're pretty much protected for having different charge voltages to different battery banks, having all the alternator power that is required on your lithium. But if ever your lithium battery BMS decides to go say enough, you might lose your alternator uh, in the process. So that is one of the downsides. And if you're curious about more lithium setups, 
Google on our website or search on our website. We've got lots of setups and lots of videos talking just about lithium. So great question, Matt, and thanks for asking.